time. Two roads, and you can only take one. I sacrificed so much effort just to make myself miserable. I've had enough. You just have to care more about the people around you, and less about everything else. I know. I'm ready. It's not gonna be easy, but you and I, we're gonna get there, together. James at 104.3 WVCK, the Basswood Sound. You heard the news today? The local cop who died in that fatal shooting last week is apparently the head of a small opioid ring right here in Basswood. Crazy. It's believed he used his position to bring in drugs from all over the county and that he murdered two people in an attempted cover-up. Good news, however. The journalist who was wounded while confronting the rogue cop was released from the hospital today. Oh, Sam. Nice to see you up and about. Him again? He really wants to be a part of this community, doesn't he? Wait, scratch that. He really wants to look like he's part of this community. Nice to see you again. Paying your respects? I thought I'd wished Anna my best. What affects the community affects us all, Sam. Lots of well-wishers. Kathy, Walter, Bess. Makes me feel a touch like a ghoul. Well, sometimes it's what it takes to be part of a community. I know how it feels to be outside looking in. Very astute. Putting down roots is a rather active process. How's Kathy? Is she doing okay? She's been going through some hard times lately. I've noticed. I'm thinking of giving her some paid time off. That way she can focus on her daughter. That's very generous of you. Nah, I'm just trying to do my part. Besides, the pharmacy just wouldn't be what it is without Kathy. I feel so selfish keeping you away from everyone. I'm sure Anna is waiting for you. You have a good day. No. You have a good life, young man. I'll try. Sam, hold your horses. Anna's busy with the sheriff. You should probably give him a moment or two. Sure, Joe. How you been? How have I been? Son, I appreciate you being here for Anna, but you don't change what happened. My girl's hurt real bad. And things could have been even worse without you. You did good. See? Told you promising him you'd keep his daughter safe was a good idea. Who knows, it might have even given you the extra boost you needed against Declan. But you did do good. Well done, champ. Well, when a man makes a promise, he does what he needs to keep it. Ooh, playing the macho card with the old patriarch. Very nice. That he does. You know, Anna told me how things went down up there. Said you getting inside Declan's head saved her skin. I knew the kind of man Declan was. His weaknesses. Maybe I even share a few. You're nothing like that snake. You, you're a good man, Sam. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I know you're really here for my daughter. And today, you're not the only one. Lots of good people have come around to see how she's doing. Don't you be a stranger, Sam. <laughs> not a lot of people with a good handshake left. So, I wasn't sure you'd show up at all. Yeah, I meant to get here before you, but I had to stop by the cemetery on the way. 
finally paid Nick a visit. Still doesn't feel like he's gone, right? I was still thinking he'd come greet me when I opened the door, you know? You feeling okay? Is it crazy to say it feels like the longest day of my life is finally over? I honestly know exactly what you mean. I've had other days like that, or I thought were like that. Makes me worry I have some even worse days lurking ahead. Hey, I'm the one that got shot. You don't get to be the depressing one. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> what about you? How are you compacting everything? I have the past properly compacted in my mind, Vice. I'm okay. Like, really okay. Hopefully you can teach me that trick so I can get to be okay, too. At least it's over. Whatever was on Nick's laptop is gone forever. But so are the bad guys. The scales are balanced. Nick was a good journalist. There might have been some things on there. Okay, like... Want to tell me what you're doing here? Talk about the little details that don't add up and don't really matter? You better not be taking my happy ending away from us. It's just that... Okay, so I talked to Walter. He's about to retire. Wait, what? And he offered me the position of editor-in-chief. What did you say? I told him yes. You did not. I did. And then he went on about fatherly advice and left. <laughs> I mean, asking you sounds like Walter, but what bizarro world had you saying yes? One in which I grew up. So... does that mean you're staying? I can't really head the local paper if I'm not in Basswood. I'd like that. You... sticking around. You know, you'd need business cards. Uh, no one uses business cards anymore. It's the 21st century, Higgs. What's old is new again. And think about what Walter would want. <laughs> well, business cards it is, then. Joe, I'm... I'm sorry. promised. He promised you'd keep her safe. He's got a lot of rage in him. It's tearing him up. Maybe just let him take it out on you. I knew she was in danger. Your poker face has always been crap, but I trusted you. Thought you'd keep her safe. Thought you cared for her, but you didn't. She's dead, and I'm still here. Old. Broken. Why didn't you kill that bastard sooner? Why'd you let him take my little girl? Should've... Have... My little girl. My little girl, I'm sorry. I just, I know you did all you could. I'm, a, I'm glad she wasn't alone. Sam, you're the only one who might know the pain I'm going through. He needs to know the people who hurt his daughter have been punished. 
He needs to hear from you that all of this is over. It's over. The man who hurt your daughter and Nick is gone. No one got away with anything. That's the only thing that comforts me. You know, she never regretted having you in her life. She'd want you to know that. Joe, I'm... I'm you sorry. You promised. You promised you'd keep her safe. He's got a lot of rage in him. It's tearing him up. Maybe just let him take it out on you. I knew she was in danger. Your poker face has always been crap, but I trusted you. Thought you'd keep her safe. Thought you cared for her, but you didn't. No one could have stopped Anna from doing the right thing. I should have at least tried. Sam, you're the only one who might know the pain I'm going through. He needs to know the people who hurt his daughter have been punished. He needs to hear from you that all of this is over. Anna did what she thought was right. And she made a difference. That's what she always talked about. Even as a kid. Anna, Anna was, she was, words, you spend your whole life devoted to them, yet they fail you when you need them most. I miss her, I miss her, and, uh, and I don't think I have anything else. You should say something, let people know you're grieving with them. You don't have to suffer alone. They're here for you, and you're here for them. It's a lot of weight to speak about someone who's gone. How do you start? Anna had a heart bigger than this whole town. We all managed to fit in there. It didn't matter where you came from, what you did. She still cared about you. There's going to be a lot less heart in this town without her. She only left Basswood for college. After that, she never wanted to leave again. Basswood was her life. The happiest I ever saw her was the day she bought a house here. She wanted to make this town a better place for her, for everyone. Make Basswood a place that you don't run from, but run to. Basswood honors Anna just by existing, standing together through the hard times and there are always more hard times than good. That's just how the world is. But standing, united as a community, that's how we honor her. Goodbye, Anna. You'll be missed.
Strong words. Strong words. <laughs> She'd have loved that. Well said. It's time. Two roads, and you can only take one. Truth is worth more than any of us. Damn society. Damn being happy. I was afraid you'd say that. But you have to be you. I'll see you around. No, you won't, Sam. But good luck. The world is an ugly place when you can really see it. Carrie James at 104.3 WVCK, the Basswood Sound. You heard the news today? The local cop who died in that fatal shooting last week is apparently the head of a small opioid ring right here in Basswood. Crazy. It's believed he used his position to bring in drugs from all over the county and that he murdered two people in an attempted cover-up. Good news, however. The journalist who was wounded while confronting the rogue cop was released from the hospital today. Looks like I'm not the only one who's come to visit Anna. Sam, hold your horses. Anna's busy with the sheriff. You should probably give him a moment or two. Sure, Joe. How you been? How have I been? Son, I appreciate you being here for Anna, but you don't change what happened. My girl's hurt real bad. And things could have been even worse without you. You did good. Joe. No, Anna told me what you did. How hard you fought. Thank you for keeping your word. I had to. That promise kept me going. I bet it did. But you better not drag my daughter into any more dangerous situations, all right? So... So, I wasn't sure you'd show up at all. I meant to get here before, but... You look better? Better than last week, I guess, but that's setting a low bar. It could have been even worse if you hadn't... You, know, you saved my life. There was a lot of life-saving on both sides. You did some yourself. I did, didn't I? I'm a hero. We're both heroes. I mean, I guess. I still outrank you, though. You didn't get shot. What's wrong? I wish we'd gotten those files. The guy who was behind it all broke his neck trying to kill us. Case closed. Yeah, you're probably right. I just hate loose ends. Life is made of loose ends. People are made of loose ends. Loosen up. That's what I like to do the least. Same old Sam. 
So what are you going to do next with your unshot and healthy body? I'm going to get myself together. I've spent enough time moping. I'm glad to hear that. I should go. I had a feeling you would say that. You stay out of trouble, Sam Higgs. And maybe don't wait so long to darken my doorstep again. I guess we'll just have to see, won't we? Mr. Higgs. Not surprised to see you here. I'm a little surprised to see you. Just giving my well wishes to Miss Miller. You did the right thing rooting out that ruffian. The town is better for it. Thanks. I'm not used to people saying things like that. <laughs> you may have to get used to it. What you did helped everyone. It really bolstered the common good. Be proud. Calm down, think of the common good. It's not that easy to leave. Kathy, could she be the supplier? Get out the way. Something's missing. How did Declan know I was meeting Dennis? I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. Check on Joan. Who overheard me and Dennis talking? Who told Declan? Your barroom brawl. I'd be best to prevent you from following that other man outside. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished after the mine closed. Honestly, afraid you'd end up like your friend. I'm in good. I'm in good. I'm in good. Young man, is everything all right? I was lost in thought, and I've been lost in thought a lot lately. Oh, yes, yes. I'm sure you have a lot to think about. Nick never put it together. He was too close. It was you. What exactly are you trying to say? It wasn't enough to be a pill mill like every other two-bit pharmacy. You've been skimming. Extra boxes lost, records forged, ending up with Declan. Now, that is a very serious accusation. The kind that, without proof, would never hold up. Kathy has to have the specifics. She's nervous and probably scared. But your trigger man is gone. Do you think she'll stay scared? Three people are dead. Their trails all lead back to you. You seem to have me confused for a criminal mastermind. I'm just a small-town businessman. I go where there's opportunity. And I've helped this town. I've created jobs. I've invested. I never forced anyone to do anything. I've only given people what they wanted. What they needed. I was here. I rolled up my sleeves and I got to work. Where were you? I'm here now. My sleeves are rolled up and I'm getting to work. 
I'm not asking for you to explain. I just wanted you to know. I wanted to look you in the eye before I brought your whole world down. Joe, Kathy, Joe. Don't you threaten them. I would never, but you do. Why do you think Nick never wrote his article? Never went to the police? Just say whatever lies you think will save you. Very well. If you insist. A little girl's future and a girlfriend with an aging father both cost money. People always find ways to get what they want. The question is who profits? Criminals? Mobsters? Lowlifes? Take out the middleman and a worse one slides in. Nick understood as much. He wasn't like that. You didn't know him. Did you? He was going to bury the story. It doesn't matter what lies you tell. I knew who Nick really was. Admirable, if misguided. People rarely show their friends who they really are. What Nick did is irrelevant. What matters is what you'll be doing. If you drop this misguided effort to accuse a kindly old man of heinous acts, I promise, Kathy, Joe and Joan will want for nothing. However, if you follow through with this foolishness, I only doubt I'd spend even a single day behind bars. I'm old. I have money and lawyers, and when I speak, people listen. But what of Nick? Who took bribes, buried the truth? What will his daughter think? When I have no choice but to reveal he is just another dirty reporter. And let's not forget poor Kathy, who worked directly for me. It would at least cost her her job. Isn't being a single parent hard enough? Don't throw their lives away, Sam. Learn from your mistakes. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna finish what Nick started. Maybe you'll go to jail, maybe not. But people will know what you did. And they'll all know the common good never factored in. You did it all for yourself. And I'll make sure the life you've built burns for it. I hope you've got your seatbelts on, because we've got one nasty story coming up. Two years ago, West Virginia, a small mining town loses its mind. Income plummets, unemployment skyrockets. The stage is set for an unscrupulous pharmacist to roll into town. Two years later, over one million pills were shipped to the small West Virginia town of Basswood. Many sold right here on our streets. <laughs> the article by journalist Samuel Higgs goes on. Information brought to light in this article led to the investigation of Hugh Kirkland, a seemingly respectable senior who turned out to be the mastermind behind this pill mill scheme. The Basswood Police Department is now under investigation. <laughs> How the small town of Basswood can recover from such a blow is anyone's guess. All right, time to kick up your feet on the bed. Mr. Higgs, not surprised to see you here. I'm... A little surprised to see you. Just giving my well wishes to Miss Miller. You did the right thing rooting out that ruffian. The town is better for him. Thanks. I'm not used to people saying things like that. <laughs> you may have to get used to it. What you did helped everyone. It really bolstered the common good. Be proud.
common good. I've heard that before. Common, common good. Common, common good shit. That common good shit, right? I know what she'll say. Calm down. Think of the common good. Don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. Kathy, could she be the supplier? Get out the way. Something's missing. How did Declan know I was meeting Dennis? I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. Pretty good last night. Go check on Joan. Who overheard me and Dennis talking? Who told Declan? Your barroom brawl. I'd be best to prevent you from following that other man outside. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished after the mine closed. I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. I'm in good. I'm in good. I'm in good. Young man, is everything all right? How dare you? How dare you even come here? You insult his memory by even being here. I wasn't trying to give offense. I, I knew... Nick never put it together. He was too close. It was you. What exactly are you trying to say? It wasn't enough to be a pill mill like every other two-bit pharmacy. You've been skimming. Extra boxes lost, records forged, ending up with Declan. No. Nah. That is a very serious accusation. The kind that, without proof, would never hold up. The court of public opinion doesn't need documentation or a trail of evidence. Three people are dead. Their trails all lead back to you. You seem to have me confused for a criminal mastermind. I'm just a small-town businessman. I go where there's opportunity. And I've helped this town. I've created jobs. I've invested. I never forced anyone to do anything. I've only given people what they wanted. What they needed. I was here. I rolled up my sleeves and I got to work. Where were you? Three. There are three dead people at your feet and one person badly injured. Don't pretend anything excuses that. I'm not asking for you to explain. I just wanted you to know. I wanted to look you in the eye before I brought your whole world down. Joe, Kathy, Joan. Don't you threaten them. I would never, but you do. Why do you think Nick never wrote his article? Never went to the police? He never finished his work because you killed him before he could. I am not. Nor have I ever been a violent man. Others I've worked with, a little girl's future and a girlfriend with an aging father, both cost money. People always find ways to get what they want. The question is, who profits? Criminals? Mobsters? Lowlifes? Take out the middleman and a worse one slides in. Nick understood as much. He wasn't like that. You didn't know him. Did you? He was going to bury the story. Nick is dead. What he did or didn't do at the end doesn't make a difference now. That's true. What Nick did is irrelevant. What matters is what you'll be doing. If you drop this misguided effort to accuse a kindly old man of heinous acts, I promise Kathy, Joe, and Joan will want for nothing. However, 
if you follow through with this foolishness. I only doubt I'd spend even a single day behind bars. I'm old. I have money and lawyers, and when I speak, people listen. But what of Nick? Who took bribe, buried the truth? What will his daughter think? When I have no choice but to reveal he is just another dirty reporter. And let's not forget poor Kathy, who worked directly for me. It would at least cost her her job. Isn't being a single parent hard enough? Don't throw their lives away, Sam. Learn from your mistakes. Fine. I'll keep your dirty little secret. Just know, I'll be keeping tabs on you. If I ever hear Kathy, Joan, or Joe want for anything. Never. Kathy will get a raise, college for Joan, and Joe won't miss another medical payment ever again. As long as you keep your word, I will care for them like I do for this town. Don't you worry. Don't you worry at all. This is Carrie James at 104.3 WVCK, the Basswood Sound. Heard the news today? Fresh details emerged about the opioid scandal in Basswood. Chief Bess Mitchell is with us today to explain the situation. Chief Mitchell, what can you tell us? Well, it's a real barrel of snakes, Carrie. The deaths of the Basswood Jungle employees is an unforgivable tragedy. It was the work of a single corrupt officer. We believe Officer Declan was trying to cover up his connection to the local drug trade. With this bad element removed, I assure you we have everything under control. I want to let everyone in Basswood know it won't be long before we have this drug problem wrapped up. I wish I could say this was a new story around here, but it's a cycle we've seen time and time again around these parts. All right, time to kick up your feet on the dashboard. We've got a bit of easy listening coming up. Sam, where the hell are you? Someone paid off my dad's medical bills. Was that you? Where did you even get that kind of money? This is too much. You can't... Look, call me back. Joe, I'm... I'm he sorry. promised. He promised you'd keep her safe. I knew she was in danger. Your poker face has always been crap, but I trusted you. Thought you'd keep her safe. Thought you cared for her, but you didn't. She's dead, and I'm still here. Old. Broken. Why didn't you kill that bastard sooner? Why'd you let him take my little girl? Should've... have... my little girl. My little girl. I'm sorry. I just... I know you did all you could. I'm, I'm glad she wasn't alone. Sam, 
You're the only one who might know the pain I'm going through. Anna did what she thought was right. She made a difference. The town's better for it. The town could go to hell. Joe, I'm... I'm you sorry. promised. You promised you'd keep her safe. I knew she was in danger. Your poker face has always been crap, but I trusted you. Thought you'd keep her safe. Thought you cared for her, but you didn't. She's dead. No one could have stopped Anna from doing the right thing. I should have at least tried. Sam, you're the only one who might know the pain I'm going through. For what it's worth, I'm here for you. It ain't worth nothing. Anna, Anna was, she was, words. You spend your whole life devoted to them, yet they fail you when you need them most. I miss her, I miss her, and, uh, and I don't think I have anything else. I think you managed to give voice to the feelings of many of us here. Do you mind if I speak a little? I didn't know her as well as most of you. Of course, of course. Anyone can speak if they want to. I only knew Anna for a few years. But within that short time, she impressed me with her strength. She understood what really mattered wasn't herself, but something greater. The community around her, her friends, her loved ones. She was a true defender of the common good. The kind of person who's always looking after whoever is standing next to her. She was fearless. You only needed to look her in the eyes for a few seconds. Common good. I've heard that before. Common good. 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 It's not that easy to leave. Kathy, could she be the supplier? No. 
Now the way, now the way. Something's missing. How did Declan know I was meeting Dennis? Messed up Dennis pretty good last night. Go check on Joe. Who overheard me and Dennis talking? Who told Declan? Your barroom brawl. I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. Have you met Hugh? Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished after the mine closed. I'm afraid you'd end up like your friend. Like your friend. I'm in good. I'm in good. I'm in good. Compromising was never her way. She was ready to pay the ultimate price if it meant getting the truth out. Because Basswood meant more to her than her own life. We will honor her memory by keeping what she fought for. This community together. It's the least she deserves. There's drugs in them hills. That would have been Nick's title for this article. He would have started with a self-deprecating tirade about how he couldn't resist the joke. It would have been a good opening. He never wrote that article. It would have been about greed, drugs, and lies. Nick was found dead on the side of the road. It was called an accident. It wasn't. Now let me tell you a story about the men who murdered him and about the truth he died for. Well, folks, I hope you've got your seatbelts on because we've got one nasty story coming up. Two years ago, West Virginia, a small mining town loses its mind. Income plummets, unemployment skyrockets. The stage is set for an unscrupulous pharmacist to roll into town. Two years later, over one million pills were shipped to the small West Virginia town of Basswood. Many sold right here on our streets. The article by journalist Samuel Higgs goes on. Information brought to light in this article led to the investigation of Hugh Kirkland, a seemingly respectable senior who turned out to be the mastermind behind this pill mill scheme. The Basswood Police Department is now under investigation. How a small town of Basswood can recover from such a blow is anyone's guess. All right, time to kick up your feet on the dashboard.